Woke people more likely to be unhappy, anxious, and depressed, new study suggests. Well, no shit. Good night, everyone. All right, look, 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 we will read on. But does this just not confirm what pretty much everyone already knew who's had any sort of interaction with a woke person? They are miserable. They hate fun, they hate jokes, and they wish to drag you down to their level of misery. Psychological researchers in Finland have created an assessment to help measure an individual's commitment to principles of social justice and made some surprising findings across the Finnish population, including a negative correlation between progressive ideals and levels of happiness. Their findings, published in the Scandinavian Journal of Psychology, suggest other Western nations may see similar patterns among their socially conscious citizens. Oh, we see it. We definitely see it. Don't worry about that. The gender divide was probably most surprising to me. Silly Finnish name told Sai Post of Finnish Attitudes. Three out of five women view woke ideas positively, but only one out of seven men. But you watch this change over the next couple of decades because these three out of five are miserable. They are alone. There is a huge problem with female loneliness as well. And in order to combat that, they see that these six other men here are more and more leaning to the right. So you watch them slide on over. This was especially true of women in fields such as social sciences, not a real field. Education, somewhat necessary. And humanities, not needed. I wish we could get rid of this altogether. By contrast, participants who worked in STEM were more likely to critique social justice efforts associated with being woke. Yes, the um, logic and facts seem to come to loggerheads with social justice thinking. However, the most concerning finding was the relationship between mental health and agreement with the scale. Specifically, researchers found a high prevalence of anxiety and depression in people who believe the statement, if white people have on average a higher income than black people, it is because of racism. More broadly, they found that those who identified as left-wing were more likely to report lower mental well-being. Again, we know. Silly Finnish name warned against extrapolating their findings to international audiences just yet, particularly across Western nations. These studies were quite robust with a sample size above 5,000 and good psychometric properties, Silly Finnish name said. However, the scale would need to be validated in North American samples in order to know how these attitudes manifest there. I encourage colleges in the United States to study the prevalence of these attitudes in the country where they originate from. Well, silly Finnish name, uh, let's just do that right now. Let's just see how these people are holding up. Asking anyone to respect me, I'm demanding it. All right, so old mate here with his uh, silly little beard is demanding you. I tell you what my pronouns are. I expect you to use them. Or what? See, what old mate here is saying, that if you do not buy in to their self-delusion, well, you're committing a hate crime. This person is so unsure of themselves that he is going to use force to everyone else to validate his self-delusion. I deserve baseline human respect. Everyone does, sure. You don't have to tolerate We won't. Me, you don't have to accept me. We won't. Me, you don't have to like me. I don't. But you do have to respect me. No, no I don't. No, I don't. Respect is earned, you miserable POS. Anyway, so what's this person up to? Sir, I know you're not talking to me. Are you talking to me? What? What they say? What they say? Sir. Sir? Is there a reason you're calling me as sir? You're calling me as sir. So here, once again, we got somebody who is so unsure of themselves, even though he thinks that he's done a great job in passing, that he's out there picking fights with people because they don't live in his delusional world. And then we've got these fun people. I 
My choice! My choice! My choice! Such a picture of mental health. Just so much hate. Oh, and don't forget the racists. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. You see this level of mental illness that this person have, who's been hired by Marvel, by the way, to uh, create a Black Panther game. Do you hear what this racist just said? She hates people of other skin colors so much. She is so delusional that she thinks it'll create a safe environment, that seeing anyone with a different skin colour to her means there's going to be an unsafe environment. Oh, and don't forget old mate from Doritos here with his summer teeth. Some are here, some are there. I advocate for the abolition uh, of destroying, destroying and annihilating the, the traditional nuclear. monogamous nuclear family. Really healthy, mate. So basically what he's saying there is this is one thing that I can never have and I see that the people who do have the traditional monogamous nuclear family are really, really happy. And those people usually, if you look at it across a scale, are doing very well for themselves. That's why dedicated Marxists like old mate from Doritos here uh, basically say they want to abolish the nuclear family. They hate it. It means that people will be happy in their little family units and they cannot have that. Uh, this is, you know, one that I'm sure you've seen before. Holy you guys! I'm driving your car, but I just got a notification that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died! Can this year get any <laughs> A picture of mental health yet again. And here we see, uh, at Arizona, a student attacks a Christian protester. So from what I can gather here, I'll just make this a little bit larger. There's a guy here and it looks like he's holding some verses, yeah, I'm hey, guessing. Wait, you don't like it? Yeah! Hey. Yeah! Mark, mark, mark. mark leave just want to note that this yeah! guy... <laughs> mark, yeah! Yeah! Mark, leave him alone. Back off! Go, Mental health, ladies and gentlemen, we have a massive problem with it in Western nations and there is that correlation with left-wing ideology. But this one has to be my favourite uh, at the University of North Texas where a bloke called Jeff Younger, who I think was running for a seat there or something, I don't know, uh, a whole bunch of people <laughs> turned up and just freaked out. Did you see what his crime was there? Where this whatever with her gut hanging out everywhere was demanding, I'm assuming this person, to use their preferred pronouns to buy into her delusion. And when this Jeff Younger doesn't do that, well, it's game on. <laughs> <laughs> she just spit. Hey, Lisa just got spit on. The dead name. Again, you see what I'm talking about here. This person hates the real them. They hate it so much, they're doing everything in their power to not be that person and then demanding everyone around go along with it. It's Scar! It's
He actually raises a very good point there because apparently she was spitting on him and they're all there in their masks because I'm assuming this was about two years ago, I believe. Yeah, uh, which is around, sort of around the, the COVID freakout era. <laughs> that sounded like a threat. <laughs> look at the anger and the hatred in this girl. And listen, and look at this. And get the F off my campus now. Sweetheart, it ain't your campus. You just go there. He has every right to be there just as much as you do. He was an invited guest, but hang on, just keep screaming. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I know that that was a little bit of low-hanging fruit and easy content to sit there and play some woke TikToks, if you will. But you get my point. So what's the best way to deal with these people when it comes to your own personal interactions? Uh, as that bloke there was calmly doing was just sitting there and just stating the facts and they will sit there and they'll freak out and eventually uh, it'll make it to online spheres where people will sit there and mock them. Look, is it right to mock them? Probably not, but everyone does need to see their ridiculousness. Everyone needs to see their level of hatred, their level of misery. But just be wary around these people as well because you know very well that they're going to try and drag you down to their level because misery loves company. So this study comes as no surprise to anyone except the left, I guess. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video. So follow me up there, do the things down there, and please do hit subscribe. Are we done? Yeah, we're done this time.